hello friends welcome back to our channel if you're new to this channel please like subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you're a return subscriber welcome it's nice to have you back so guys if you want to see how this beautiful dress was made please stay tuned you fold your pattern into two so here i'm just going to break it down you have to fold your pattern paper into two the first the initial original pattern paper you have your skirt pattern you have to join it to another plain paper use your paper tape to join the um, original pattern to the plain paper and then trace it around as i'm doing here you have to trace it around on that paper to make it visible on the other paper so that way you have center front just one piece And here I'm just tracing out my above knee line, my knee line and my hip line. And here I will just cut off all the excess um, paper around my pattern. Here we go you can see that we have just one piece of center front and here i'm just taping um the hip area just to secure the extra paper that was added So here we go, place your um, ruler, it's going to, the um, splash and spread area is going to be like a slanty kind of, um, a slanty kind of design. So I'm going to be using, I'll come down from the waistline by let's say seven or six inches. Now this can, it depends on how you want it, how you want it to look on um, your dress it's the measurement is actually up to you and on the other side from the waistline i'll come down by two inches and then connect it from one point to the other i'll also be marking um one and a half inch distance between each of the um, lines i intend to have um i also intend to have about seven lines or six lines of each of this um one and a half inch distance so guys that's what i'm doing here the same thing on the other on the other side of the hip so that I'll be able to connect it from one side of the hip to the other side of the hip 
in a slanting manner. So connecting this straight um, down to meet the other side. And also don't forget to count it and label it so it makes it easier for you to know where your pattern um, the pieces belong. So guys, if, I hope you guys can see this clearly, you can see the lines. And here I will be cutting through the lines, one after the other, all the way down. Also, I'm not cutting this um, all the way to the end. I will just get to the extreme end and I will stop. I'm not like cutting it out of the pattern. Like I'm just getting to the end and I will stop leaving a little line. And now after this, uh, we just place a plain part, a plain paper underneath uh, my original pattern. I'll place this nicely. Also remember, I'll be leaving one and a half inch space in between each of this slashed area. And I'll also be securing this with um, paper tape. So guys, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.
so guys i'll continue to secure this all the way all from the end to the top perfectly this actually takes a lot of time but guys i know you guys can do this it's not so hard And here, in order to set it down properly, I had to cut through to the extreme end and, you know, set it down back properly with a paper tape.
guys i will just go ahead and um, create this hip line in a curvy manner that just the way the hip line will be curved down um, it's not supposed to be a straight line just curve it all the way down And then here, I will just keep forming my folds perfectly and nicely. And here I'll just secure it with some paper tapes on the edges. And here I will retrace my hip line with my pencil. And then on fold I will cut out all the excess paper on the side. And here I'm just cutting off all the excess um, paper on the waistline and also removing the um, extra paper tape I added on the edges um, just to cut off um, the um, sides properly and you know make it come out neat.
cut off all the excess um, paper on the sides. So guys, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.